Entering the rainforest is like stepping into this dark and magical world. You can feel it folding over the top of you and pushing down. And on the surface, it seems quite peaceful. But I've got a feeling that underneath that tranquility, an intense battle is taking place. With so many species of fauna and flora competing for food, water and light, for a seedling, it's a real battle for survival. Botanist Darren Crane studies the plants here. Only 5% approximately of the light that hits the canopy filters through down to the ground level here. So all of these plants are getting started. They're living their earliest years in a pretty harsh environment. Not only have they got poor access to light, but there's a lot of things down here that want to end their lives quickly. But Darren's going to show me a tree that has developed an ingenious way to start out life by avoiding the dangers of the gloomy rainforest floor. Ah, oh, Darren, have a look at this behemoth. Oh, that is an absolute monster of a tree. Isn't this the most impressive thing you've ever seen in a rainforest? This towering giant is the strangler fig. And it has a remarkable but lethal strategy to survive. The strangler figs do something quite amazing and really unusual. They flip the script and they start their life up there where the light is, in the forks of branches in big old trees. Fig seeds dropped by birds and animals high up in the light-rich canopy slowly begin to grow downwards around a host tree. It is a real challenge being up there in the canopy. So what they do is they efficiently draw on uh, the nutrients released by vegetation that's rotting up in the canopy and slowly grow their roots down to the ground. But once those roots contact the soil, then it's game on for the fig. Now feasting on the rich resources underground, the fig begins a massive growth spurt. Where you can see the roots come in contact with each other, they can fuse. And so eventually, the fig can form a network around its host. So you mean bits like this? where it's, yeah. it's like a, it's a lattice. Like a lattice, Almost. exactly. As you can see here, it grows around and completely encases the host plant and squeezes it, almost like a strangulation. Hence the name. Hence the name. It chokes the life out of them. The fig's thick foliage blocks sunlight and its sprawling roots steal precious nutrients from the soil. This multi-pronged attack ensures the host meets a slow, grisly death. As you look into the folds and the nooks and the crannies of the strangler fig, right in the heart, you can actually see the dead host tree that initially would have supported the growth of this young plant. No doubt these ginormous gangster-like trees are ruthless. But they do have a less sinister side. Their size plays a crucial role in the forest's ecosystem. And the best way to see how is high up in the treetops. It's a totally different place in the canopy. You see things up here that you don't imagine would exist if all your experience has been based on seeing from the ground. So there are animals up here that we're barely aware of. There are small mice, native mice. There are snails, there are snakes, there are all sorts of things that live in the canopy, um, things we would otherwise think of as ground-dwelling animals. It's another world. In fact, 90% of all the forest animals live up here amongst the trees. And it's the fruit from the mighty fig that provides a lot of their food. Is this us here with those yeah. bronze, really up-pointed leaves? That's it, yeah. So here we are approaching the crown of Ficus destruens, the strangler fig. And you can see here as we grab a branch, down in amongst all the leaves, are all of the fruits. Wow, it's laden with fruit. So that's the, that's the fig of the strangler fig. That's the fig. And uh, what it is, is it's not a fruit, Paul. Yeah, right. Um, if you break it open, you'll see it's full of tiny little flowers. Huh, there you go. So I mean, that looks like a, a kind of scaled down wild version of the, of the fruit that we see in the fruit shop. Absolutely, yeah. Figs are really, really important in rainforest ecology because there's almost always a fig fruiting somewhere in the rainforest. And so they provide a lot of food for a lot of other fauna. They're like a 7-Eleven. Uh, they're like a, they're like, a, like a convenience store, in a sense. They're, they're available when all the other stores are closed. By providing year-round food, 
the fig attracts a constant stream of seed-dispersing animals, which are essential for regenerating the forest. 